So you've just laid down some generic vanilla industry zoning and you click on it to see what's come in and lo and behold, it's Frank's, <laughs> Frank's Fish Tick Factory. We see this a lot in the game, but no longer do I complain when this pops up because thanks to Larry Skylines, we have a whole slew of Frank's Fish Sticks assets and I'm going to go through them today and then we are going to build a little fishing industry. So this public market actually doubles as you saw as a um, fish market. Same with this building here. This is also a fish market. So there's two variations. You have the public market and the um, kind of like little beach front there. And then there is this lovely little parking asset that Larry designed and look at the boat. It's so cute. Extra parking and seating for any of your Frank's Fish Sticks attractions. Um, and then there is also, so this is a unique building and it's a restaurant and you can see it has the parking attached to it, some little foliage. So it looks a little different than the fish market restaurant. Then we have the drive through restaurant. It's so cute. It's got the little flag and the outdoor seating. Adorable. Then we have this more pedestrian themed um, Frank's Fish Stick outdoor like little restaurant with outdoor seating and the pergola. Uh, very um, plazas and promenades. And there's also this other little tiny asset if you just need to pop in a little restaurant somewhere in your city i love that little one and then larry's even designed a food truck so now you have frank's fish stick food truck as a prop you can plop down in your city and it's nice to have different food truck options this is designed so cute and there are additional signs there's the flag lots of fun stuff in this collection for you to really create an amazing Frank, Frank's fish stick experience. And there are also two or two or three prop trucks that are in the game as well. And then there are also um, trucks that you can put in the game that you can see driving around that I'll show you guys in a minute. Here's a nice little overview again of all the assets that are in this one click collection on the Steam Workshop. It'll be linked in the description below. Uh, grab it, play around with it. There's so many fun things you can do in your city. And if you're on Discord, um, tag Larry and I in your screenshots. We'd love to see what you build with this collection. Now on to the build. First things first, we need to get some fishing done. Let's see, looks like we have mostly salmon. So let's go ahead and do that. Tuna, shellfish, salmon, here we go. Let's get these put in. Okay, now we've got to put in our fishing line. So what I like to do is put in one line first and then follow the boat and make sure that we are really being efficient with our lines. I like to be pulling um, into the dock with 100% and not have a lot of time coasting with a lot of um, fish collection. So I'm just taking a rough guess right here from lines I've done in the past and then we will follow this boat and see if we Got it, perfect. Okay, glad we did this. Our line is just a touch long. So let's go ahead and fix that and then we can put in the rest of our fishing roots. Okay, now we're gonna check each root to make sure that we are being really efficient with our fishing roots. We want to make sure that all of our Frank's fish sticks assets have all the fish that they could need. So we wanna make sure these are really efficient. And it looks like we may have got this one pretty good. Let's see, yes, look at this. Look at that. That one's perfect. 
Perfect. What about this guy? Ooh, I don't think he's gonna make it. Okay, so we need to make that one just a touch longer. Okay, one last ride here. And we will see if we got this right. How beautiful is this map? Every time I get in here to play on this map, I just love it. By the way, our pedestrian only city Golden Bay is just to the right of us here. We're just building a little fishing area just outside of Golden Bay. Look at that, we are perfect. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna do a really simple, straightforward build today. Just a little uh, Frank's Fish Sticks row, if you will, just kind of utilizing all the assets in the one click collection all together. Of course, you could spread them out over your city, but I'm just focusing them in this build today. And then next Monday, I'll come back into Golden Bay and we'll tie in the um, pedestrian city with this build really nicely. I have some fun ideas. So we just put down our fish market. So of course there's a fish market that comes in the game, but we are using Larry's. This is so cute. And look, there's the truck. Okay, I was telling you guys that you can also, in the one click collection is these trucks and they will deliver all the fish. So cute. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I think next to this um, market, I want a plaza. Yes, this one, it has the same tile. I love that. I think that looks really cute together. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of go through and see what works where as we kind of like go down this road. I think I want something in the middle between this. Um, this is also a fish market. Um, so I'm keeping these assets um, kind of down towards the end of the street um, near the fish factory. So we are just gonna look for, I know which one I want. I want the little food trucks that Larry designed. This one, yes. Oh, that looks really cute. I like that. Okay, and then on the other side of this, why don't we also grab the um, little bicycle parking that's the same size. Oh yeah, that looks really cute. Okay, I'm loving how this is coming together. All right, so what do we wanna use next? We have the restaurant, the unique building, and that has some nice parking. So that's good, because then we have the bike parking and the regular parking right next to each other. That is very cute, okay. Let's see here, maybe a plaza, the food truck plaza. Yes, again, this has that same texture, so this is be so cute, love that. Let's see now. Again, we're just kind of moving through these. I wanna put the drive through at the end of the street. I think that would make sense. Should we put the parking here? No, we have the parking attached to the restaurant. Should we do this, the little pedestrian? Could be cute, that could be cute. Let's see, what else do we have here? Larry just recently designed, yes, these are new. Oh, this is really cute. Okay, let's see if we can kind of line these up. Move it is always tricky when you're next to the water. It does not like to cooperate. That looks all right. I think that's really nice. That's a lot of nice open plaza space. We love that. And we've got the ice cream. I love that one. It's so cute. What a good mixture. Okay, what do we got? We have our little tiny one. Mm, I think I want this on the other side of the ice cream shop, actually. I think that would look cute. Next, the plaza, yes. Okay, like how this is coming together. All right, what do we have left? We've got the drive-through. Oh, and we're at the end of the street. That is perfect. And we still have the, um parking that we can put at the end of the street too. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of path work um, behind here, just to kind of um, give this a little bit of tidying up behind the buildings.
Okay, last little asset from the collection is that parking, which I think will make sense here at the front of the street. Let's just make room for it and we can use move it to move this in place. I love that it has the little boat thing and I kind of like that that is what welcomes you into this area. I think that is just adorable. So cute. I actually think all these assets together really work well. I mean, you could do them individually. Like definitely I can see going through um, back into Mordelago, our 15 minute city and adding a bunch of like the drive throughs in and things like that. Yeah, this build turned out so cute. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Again, if you grab this collection from the Steam Workshop, if you build something with it, and if you wanna come find me on Discord, that's linked in the description too. Larry is in our Discord, so feel free to tag Larry and I both in your screenshots of what you build. I'm so excited to see how you guys use this. This is one of my favorite little collections that Larry has put together, and I know that there are many more in the future. He's just gotten so creative with the things that he is making on the workshop. Definitely check them out. I know I talk about his uh, workshop items in my videos a lot, but I love to use them in my city. They are just adorable. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.